Good morning, Stephanie Kemmerman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper for July 22nd. Last week was fantastic. We had 100% gains if you'd taken all my whispers on the stocks. I know most of you trade options, so obviously that is so much higher, but really great movement on gold and oil. It's earnings season. We hit 188 targets. If you missed that, don't worry. We're gonna have a lot of really good trades this week. I could feel it. So let's start with the SPY. We're gonna be bullish above 298.50, key level. Let's see if we could break through that brick wall. You can see that the 8 EMA, yeah, is right in front of us. We really need to break through that. So I went a little bit higher to that 50 level. If we can, then there's clear skies ahead. However, bearish below 290.750 to the downside. Uh, we'll see what prints come in today. We did have that unusual dark pool activity, those late prints that came in at 324 cents. Some of them were revised to 319, but still weird. If we were to go above and break above that, I would turn into the biggest bull you've ever seen. But until that happens, mm, it's not gonna happen yet. All right, let's go to the E-minis. It's always about the prints. E-minis, we're gonna be bullish above 29.90 for those guys and bearish below 29.78. I did put in the pre-market volume spikes and that's how I get my levels. Russell, and of course I use pivots. The Russell bullish above 155, bearish below 154. QQQ also had very weird, unusual activity at 193.82 on Friday. So that's a really key level. Again, if we close above it, bullish. As long as we stay below it, yeah, that's selling. So we'll, we'll see what prints come in today and use those. Let's go to the oil futures. Yeah, oil's been, I think, our best trade so far. So let me just show you this chart. All right, we've been kind of uh, bouncing up and down on these Camarilla pivots. It's been pretty weak. However, if we go above 57, I will turn bullish for oil futures. We do have resistance at about 57.20 area, but if we could break above that, you can see there's a lot of room to fly. However, we're going to be bearish below 56.24. Then we'll have room to go down to this pivot. And now let's go to the gold futures. Those I can pull up here. All right, we are sitting right, uh, right on the four EMA here. Suspense. You know how we closed? Actually, let me show you this chart. I cannot believe they did this to us. Well, maybe I can. We actually took a poll in my trading room to see where they would close the gold futures. And one of our answers was like right on the trend line. And they did. I mean, they literally closed it right up against it. This is so key to watch this week. Are we going to close above it? Suspense. Yeah, that was really funny, actually. We, were, we had a good laugh. Let's go to, all right, five minute. Put that back. So I'm going to be bullish above 1431, bearish below 14. 24. Let's go to Halliburton. Bullish above 2262. It had earnings, and we've had massive prints on this recently. I'm actually shocked it's not up or down more than it is, but we will watch those really big levels that we've had. Uh, 2339, that was a 5.8 million print level. Oops, 2339. That's all the way up here. Then we had 2260, that's up here. Really, really big. Yeah, if we were to go above those levels, sky's the limit. Yeah, but that's big sellers that are above us. Bearish below 2147, if we do go below here, look out. All right, so those are key levels. GDX, bullish above 2820. Bearish below 2760. MU, bullish above 47. Watch that key level. 
Nice gap up today. Also watch that trend trade, that 15 EMA on a five minute chart. If we go above it after the first 15 minutes, that's a gap and go. However, if we drop below it, it's usually a pop and drop, but we'll be bearish below 46.50 for a retracement trade. AMD had massive prints. Thank you, Robert, AKA the rockstar trader who uh, reminded me about those prints. Yeah, 1.8 million, 32.92. We're right on those prints right now. We had a massive print here. And then another massive print at 32, uh, 93, 2.4 million. Something big is happening right here on AMD. So watch this so carefully. It's gonna have a big move. All right, bullish above 33.20, bearish below 32.50. Definitely one to watch this week, but earnings are coming up July 30th. That's not until next week. So this could be a good goodie today, or maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Bullish above Apple, 205.30 and bearish below 203. We did have some recent prints on it at 204.75. So watch that very carefully. And Mr. Softy, yeah, we had big prints on this one as well last week 138.95, 137.46. So we'll be bullish above 138.25 a retracement trade to those prints and bearish below 136.50 that's below all the prints and i think that's it yeah that's all we got right now if i see any big prints today we'll definitely call it out until next time happy trading My secret